Please sit down in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please sit down. Please sit down. Come on, put your hands together for our worship team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before even we get to the end of this seminar, um, which is tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, ask of Sam to Sana. Yeah, thank you. I said we thank you very much for just making all this a success. And for all the costs you have been ready to incur just for us, just to come and bless us here. What manner of love is this? Hallelujah. Come on church, put your hands together. Well, Deo. as we announced yesterday, Kama jana, our speaker tonight leo, is Bishop Sam. Ni ask of Sam. He is... <laughs> 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 there are people, we call them professors. Kuna watu ambao tunawaita ma professor. Why are they just witchy doctors? Wakati au ni wachawa wetu. You see, you see, in our country, if you want to, you know, to look great, you can give yourself any title. Even a witch doctor can call themselves professor, professor so and so. But Bishop Sam, is a real professor. <laughs> And it's not something honorary. It's not an honorary title. So, dina tu la kawida kawida la ishima tu ya kawida. You see, I'm Doctor John. Na pia Doctor John. But that is honorary. Na yoni ni ni ya ishima. Ni ya ishima. I did not do a PhD. They just gave me just to uh, honor. Si kufanya PhD la kila ni pati yao ishima ya kwa doctor. To honor my contribution to the Word of Christ. Kwa kuishimu mchango wako ngu katika mwili wa Kristo. But on the contrary. Lakini kwa utofauti wake. Bishop Sam. Ask of Sam. He sat in the class and he did his degrees. Yeah, ali kada na sana kafanya hizo degrees zake zote. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a professor with Usikuwa us. Usikuwa leo wakiki na waume tonight professor ndani ya nyumba. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. This is the first professor to ever speak in our church. Please give him a better clap offering. As the man of God comes to the. Come on, professor. Welcome. Kalibu sana, kalibu sana, kalibu sana, kalibu sana, professor. Now, yesterday we received the more. 12 guests. Is it 12? The number of people who arrived yesterday. Was it 12? 12 new people arrived from South Africa. Did you hear an earthquake in the evening? You didn't hear any earthquake? I know you heard it. You, you, you heard it. You felt it. It was signaling the arrival of the first lady of this ministry. <laughs> Bishop's wife is also here. Her arrival caused an earthquake. Hallelujah! 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 Now, because the bishop himself is here. I think let me leave the microphone to him. He will introduce his own wife and his children. Uh, Bishop, we thank you very much. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you so, so much. And Mama, thank you very much for coming. Wow. Wow. Somebody give God a hand of praise for Bishop John. Wow. We bless the Lord. You may take your seats in the presence of the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allow me to appreciate my beloved Bishop. Bishop John Bengenyeka. Ask of Thank you very John much Bengenyeka. for for giving us this opportunity. Giving me the opportunity. And and giving my sons an opportunity to be a blessing to Tanzania. Are you blessed to have preachers from South Africa? All that. What It is because. Bishop loves you so much. Let's appreciate Bishop John, please. The angel of the house. The only bishop I know who is Bishop John Bengenyeka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without any waste of time, allow me also to appreciate the team that came from South Africa. On Monday, Pastor Lazarus blessed us from South Africa. Pastor Lazarus, thank you very much. What a blessing. Were you blessed by Pastor Lazarus? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On Tuesday, Prophet Andy Lenyati from Zimbabwe blessed us. Let's appreciate him. Nabi Nyati, I to Lumia Kotoka Zimbabwe, now to Pigima Coffee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And on Wednesday, we had uh, Apostle Anikitimi. Nasiku ya tume watana tukona mtume Anikitimi. And then yesterday, Najana, uh, my son from South Africa, Mtoto wangu kutokea kwa Afrika Kusini, just on arrival, alipo asili tu, Apostle Daniel Mohotani blessed us yesterday. Ali, Let's appreciate him. Thank so you. Thank you very much. Fika tujana, my fika baraka kubwa sana for the spelling, you know, for, for, for the life-changing way that you said Hallelujah. 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 Allow me also to let you know that we still have four speakers. That are going to bless you tomorrow. Tomorrow will be here in the morning until in the evening. And you are going to be blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tomorrow we have Apostle Dr. Shadung. Can, maybe can you just take up to your feet so that they can see you they arrived yesterday hallelujah hallelujah and then we also have Pastor Mapala in the house. They will be, they will be speaking tomorrow. Together with Apostle Dr. Shadung. Hallelujah. 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 We also have where is he? Pastor Hosanna. Pia tunaye mchungaji Osama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God is going to bless you. They didn't come alone. They came with my sons again. I want us to, to recognize uh, Dr. Ngwenya. He came with his wife. Miss Ngwenya, can you stand up so that they can see? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They came here for supernatural uh, total, you know, turnaround conference. We also have Pastor TT Teledi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We also have Mr. Masemola in our midst. Let people see you. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then we have uh, Pastor Riboni. Tonight, I'm Can you take up your feet? Wow. Then we have Pastor Tembi Manyatela. I brought with me 
my, uh, my, my worshiper, my daughter that is going to sing one song. Will you be able to sing one song? And name is, is Sister Kawelo. Mashiach, she will be blessing just one song. Would you give her space for one song? So that you can hear what God is doing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to appreciate my the one and the only wife I have. The mother of my children. I call her my liver, my pancreas. Oh, you people are jealous of my wife. I will, you know, if she says we go, we'll go. I appreciate my wife. Wow, we bless the Lord. Next time I will come with her, she will be preaching to women. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, we, we thank the Lord. I, I hope I did not forget anyone, did not leave anyone out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? Are you blessed tonight? I say, are you blessed? You see, you must be blessed before you come to church. So that you can manifest the blessing. You must feel blessed. Hallelujah. Are we ready for today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we can get our scripture reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 4. Tupate maandiko haya kapate kusoma katika Isaiah sura ya 5 mstari wa 6, Isaiah 5 6. If you can put it, I will read it in English. Mtasoma kwa Kiingereza. The interpreter will read it in Kiswahili. Na mtafsiri atasoma kwa Kiswahili. Can you put it on the screen? Waweza kuweka hiyo hiyo mstari hapo kwenye screen. Isaiah Sulaya Tanam Salasita. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 4. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chapter 5, verse 4. Sura Yatano Mstali, one name. Let me read it. It says in King, New King James Version. Katika King James in a Okay, we can read it. Let me read it. It says, What could have been done more to my vineyard? That I have not done in it. Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes. The soma. Katika isaya sula ya tano msali wa nne, bibia na sema. Je, kazi gani iliweza kutendeka ndani ya shamba langu? La biza bibu nisio itenda. Basi nalipo tumaini ya kuwa litazaza bibu mbona lilizaza bibu mwitu. Haya basi, sasa nitawambieni, nitakalo litenda shamba langu la mizabibu. Nitaondoa kitalu chake, nalo litaitwa, nitabomua ukuta wake, Only nalo litakanyago. Is it verse 4? Yes, verse 4. Hallelujah. 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 Let me pray. Our Father and our Lord, I thank you for you are God, there is none like you. You are the only God that when can do things that you alone can do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over this area. I frustrate the principalities, powers, rulers and the spiritual wickedness in the high places. I release, I release Diagonal multiple destruction in the kingdom of darkness. I frustrate every form of witchcraft. I, 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 I attack vertically. I attack horizontally. In the name that's above every name. Father, I decree release with your power. 
heal your people deliver your people tonight in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus any power that is assigned against this service I command it to die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name Amen Amen. Somebody give God another hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Allow me to title my message. What more could have been done? What more could have been done? That's the you know the title of my message. I must, you know, we must answer this question. Where we have read, the Bible says, the man says, he says, what more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done in it? When then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, instead of good grapes, the vineyard gave bitter grapes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The writer here shows to be frustrated. This question can only be raised by somebody that has done what you know what needed to be done for somebody that has done something properly and still the results are not what I expected what is it that could have been done more today I want to speak to somebody in this place I want to speak to people who are saying we have done everything Bishop I have done everything I have gone to the university I'm expecting to get a good job but instead I'm getting rejection Bishop I have married this man I have married this woman but instead of getting love I'm receiving rejection Bishop I'm working very hard. I'm working very hard for this company. Instead of giving me bonus, they are giving me peanuts. What more could have been done? What is it that I did not do? Until you do what is required of you to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you are able to see the results. Hallelujah. 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 Then you can appreciate, you can have courage to do what you are doing. But the results here are not the way you are, you know, I expected. The Bible says here in Mark chapter 10 verse 20 a young man came to Jesus and he asked Jesus he says, Jesus I want a miracle. I want a miracle. I want a miracle. I want to get eternal life. Lord Jesus, what must I do? Jesus said, he said, you must do this and this and this. Observe the laws. And the young man said in verse 20, he answered and said to Jesus, teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. He was saying, I have, I have done everything that you said I must do. Can I get eternal life? I don't steal. I don't fornicate. I don't practice witchcraft. Do I qualify for eternal life? J Jesus said all these things you must do but the young man said I have done everything 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the young man still did not qualify Lakini, kijana, to get sifa. eternal life. Ya kupata, ya, 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 Today I want to speak to people. Leo, I say, Bishop, Kama skofu, I believe God. Unasema, skofu, na mumini, mumini. I'm tithing in the church. I'm sani. in the choir. Na imba, na I'm choir. serving the Lord. Na buwana. I'm doing everything na, I'm taught. Na kila kitu but when I look at my results, they don't correlate with my effort. How many people are ready for that change? This question must be answered in this conference. Do I have people who are experiencing what I'm talking about? Do I have people who can relate with what I'm saying? If you are there, let me hear your louder amen. The louder the amen, the quicker the miracle. May those of you who shout the louder amen, God answer you. Somebody say amen. Say amen. Listen to me. I, w- I want a louder amen. Now. I'm from South Africa. There must be a louder amen. Say, say amen. Say amen. Say amen. Amen. Aha, aha. That's what I uh-huh. need. Hallelujah. 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 What is it? That could have been done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do I have people who have you know who can relate to what I'm saying? Listen to me. In this conference, your story must change. I came with a message to change your situation. I said your life is bound to change. That stagnation is coming to an end today. In the name of Jesus, you are going to make it. You are going to make it. Listen, I say you are going to make it by fire, by force. I say you are going to make it. Hallelujah! 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 Wow! Wow! What to do? The Bible says. Leah tried to answer the question. In in Genesis chapter thirty verse twenty. Mwanzo thirty shirini. The Bible says. Leah, who was married to you know to Jacob. Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah. Leah did something. In verse 20, the Bible says Leah gave birth to a baby. She named that baby Zebulon because she said my husband will dwell with me. She thought after giving birth to Zabilon Jacob who was running away from her Jacob who did not show love was going to love her. Listen to me. You can do anything. You can give men ten children but if it is not God who is changing him you are wasting your time Leah gave birth to her child she said this time my husband will dwell with me but after giving birth Jacob did not stay and she said what more could have been done to keep this man in my house listen to me child of God our God is faithful our God is faithful you are not the first one to go through what you are going through there are people that have gone through what you are going through I said there are people that have gone through what you're going through. And God has shown his power in their situation. The God that we serve is the same yesterday. He is the same today in Tanzania. He is the same here in 
Ibn Dar es Salaam He is the same today and forever and God will do what he did you know you know, last year. God will repeat what he did yesterday. He is going to do it today. Let me hear you louder. Amen. Number one, how to provoke he, supernatural turnaround. We must find it in the Bible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7. The Bible says, The Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people who are in Egypt. And I have heard their cry by the reason of the taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The children of Israel, One of Israel provoked supernatural for their turnaround. By cry unto the Lord. You can cry to a man. You will try to comfort you and leave you crying. You can cry to your boss. Your situation may not change. You can cry to your neighbors. They will leave your situation the same. When you cry unto man, if God is not involved, your situation will not change. But it is another thing to cry unto the Jehovah. When you cry unto God, God comes down. When they cried unto the Lord, God heard their cry. God heard the cry. And God came down. God is looking for men and women who are going to cry unto him. If you want revival, we must cry unto the Lord. It is time to cry unto the Lord. Leave men alone. Focus on Jehovah. All men who cried unto the Lord. God answered them. That devil is a liar. Today I want you to cry unto the Lord. Today we are going to cry unto the Lord. The Bible says when they cried unto the Lord. God came down. When he came down. He fought their battles without soldiers. God fought for the chief of Israel without using the soldiers. God killed the firstborns of the Egyptians. God opened the Red Sea. When you cry to God, God will come down and judge your enemies. And God is going to judge your enemies tonight. I said God is going to judge your enemies tonight. That devil is a liar. That wizard is a liar. That witch is a liar. That Sangoma is a liar. Tonight, Jehovah God is going to come to your way. Jehovah God is visiting your life. He is visiting your family. He is changing your life. He is turning your life around. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get scriptures before we preach. Genesis chapter 21. The Bible says. The Bible says. In verse 14. That Abraham. Abraham called Hagar. And then. And the boy. Abraham gave Hagar bread and water. Verse 15. While Hagar was going to a people. The bread, the bread and the and, and the water got finished. Verse 16. Haka put the boy under a tree. And Haka cried. But the God did not hear the cry of Haka. Verse 17. The Bible says the Lord heard the cry of a boy. God heard the cry 
of Ishmael. In verse 17, God heard the cry of the boy. And God answered. And the angel said, Haka, look. And there was a well. Listen to me. There is a cry. There is a cry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is what I call crying unto the Lord. I call it a prayer that is genuine. I call it a prayer that is honest. When the child cried, the angel spoke. And the eyes of, of Haga opened. There was a well where there was no well. I'm here to speak to you. That there's going to be a well of business where there are no business opportunities. There's going to be an no opportunity for you. Oh, I wish I could find somebody here. I said there's going to be a well. Somebody here, you will get a visa to go to America. Somebody here, you will get a visa to go to UK. There's going to be something that you will see alone. And people will ask you, how did you? You will tell them that the God of supernatural turn around has changed my life. I say, you will tell them. I say, the God of supernatural turn around has a visitor to me. Somebody here, you will buy a house in America. Ah, I say you will buy a house in Australia. Do you believe? When, when I speak, I prophesy. When I speak, I prophesy. And it shall be so. Listen to me. God has seen what you have done. You have done everything. But you know, look unto God. You have tried what you used to do. But now I want you to give God Jehovah. Jehovah God is about to change your story. Leave the connection of man. Man can help you to a, short, to, to a lesser extent. But when God is to help everything opens up. I see God helping somebody here. God is helping you in your visa interview. God is helping you in your you, you will study in America. Hey! God is helping somebody today. God will help you. I said God is going to help you. Jehovah God is going to help you. I said you will speak things that you will be the first one to say such things. And somebody in a higher office will recognize you. God is about to change your life. I came to prophesy. I said it is your time. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. Your time. Your time. Your time. Your time. To experience a divine time. It is your time. It is your time. It is your time. It is your season. It is your time. Somebody give God a hand of praise. God will make you to see things that the people are here in Dar es Salaam cannot see. Oh. Uh -huh. You will make money like as if you are living in the UK while you are here. You are living in the UK while you are here. Hey. Ah. Ah. I say, God, uh -huh. you are living do I have people who believe today? Listen, today your life is turning around like this. I see people here don't believe. I, I pray your children will, you know, will get the blessing. If you don't believe, I put it on your children. If you don't believe, I put it on your grandchildren. I say, if you don't believe, I put it on your children. Ah. Ah. Hey. Hey. 
God told me that it's about to change somebody's life. The problem we have, we are looking for political connection. We are looking for our uncles that must help us. The Bible says, cast is any man who leans on the arm of flesh. But I came to speak to somebody here. God is going to give you a breakthrough. That no man will share the glory. God himself will open up a door for you. Oh, I said God himself is going to help you. Oh, so God himself is going to help you. I said God himself is going to help you. God himself is going to help you. The way he helped Hagar is going to help you. Hey. Hey. Somebody say supernatural turnaround. Say supernatural turnaround. Say supernatural turnaround. I say say supernatural turnaround. Oh. Oh. I see you changing levels. You are changing. You are changing levels. You are changing levels. You are changing levels. You are changing levels. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is doing something here. That devil is a liar. 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 There is a person here. You, I don't know what I do with the visa. God says I must tell you. That he is working on that thing. It shall come to pass. There is somebody has done an application for visa here. God said, I must tell you. Yeah. Your life is changing by far. If you are not ready to cry to God. Cry until you no more strength. You no, you no longer have strength. God hears people who cry to Him. One day he was coming from you know Jericho, and he passed by. Yes, a man by the name of Bartimaeus heard that Jesus was passing. The man said, Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, He said, Son of David, have mercy. Oh. oh. It was because he cried unto the Lord that Jesus said, Bring him here. Oh, your case is about, it has, you know, it has reached heaven. If today you can cry to God, God will say, Bring the case here. Bring a case here. Bring a here. Bring him here. Hey, bring him here. <laughs> I don't know what people are saying about you. But you are about to experience a divine turnaround. I say you are about to experience a divine turnaround. You are about to experience a divine turnaround. You are about to experience a divine turnaround. Listen to me. They said you will not enjoy that marriage. But wait! When Jehovah turns you around, they will love you. They will love your marriage. Oh, rakala bakada kada 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 kada. Hey, hey, rakola kada. Listen to me. Some people say you will not be married. Your own marriage is not going to be like this. One that you have attended. When you arrive, you will arrive in a chopper. Helicopter will bring you down. I said, your own. Hey, a mother here will, will be inside an, an helicopter. <laughs> With a daughter. The son-in-law. 
their father-in-law and they will come to the reception come to the waiting place when you come your helicopter will create a dust to your enemies Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I said the helicopter will make a dust to your enemies. You will come out and they will say, how did you do it? And you will say, the God of supernatural turn around has turned my life around. That devil is a liar. I came to revoke that power of the devil. I came to declare and to declare. I came to declare by the word of God that your life is changing whether they like it or not you are changing levels you will drive your car you will buy a house hey, you will have a business hey somebody you will go to South Africa you will excel you will go to Asia you will excel somebody has never been in an aeroplane you will be inside the aeroplane I say you will be inside the aeroplane there is going to be a divine general somebody shout fire say fire say fire fire God Mungu. responds to a cry. Hello? Hello? God Mungu. responds to a cry that is genuine that is for a good cause. God is a God who responds to a cry. Do you want a revival? Cry unto the Lord. Do you want breakthrough? Cry unto the Lord. The Bible says Elijah Elijah. they called him the baby, the, the boy died. I said the boy died. And they called Elijah. Said Elijah the child is dead. My Bible says in 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 22 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 22 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 22, 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 22 My Bible says Elijah came and prayed for the boy. He prayed and he did what he knows. Elijah did everything that he knows. Hallelujah. Nothing works. Can you put it there, please? First Kings chapter 17, verse 22. 17, verse 22. Hallelujah. The Bible says. It says, it says, and the Lord heard the voice of Elijah. He heard the voice of Elijah. Another version says, the Lord heard the cry of Elijah. The Lord heard the voice of Elijah. And the sound of the child came into him again. He took Elijah to cry unto the Lord. And the voice of Elijah appeared in the corridors of heaven. When his voice, his cry arrived in heaven, God said to the young boy, He spoke to the soul of the young boy. He said, Go back to your body. When you cry unto the Lord, God will answer you. Do I have people that are ready to cry? Cry unto the Lord. Cry unto the Lord. When we cry unto the Lord, we are coming here into prayer and fasting. We are praying until God gives us answers. When you cry to the Lord, you don't stop until God has answered you. You make God to know that there is no one on earth who can help you. Jehovah is, God is waiting for your attention. Today, if I could get people who are ready to cry to the Lord, if we can cry through prayer, we stop 30 minutes prayer, one hour prayer. We get into prayer until something happens. When you cry, say, Lord, 
I'm not going until you bless me. The Bible says, Hannah cried unto the Lord and said, Lord, give me a boy. I will give that boy back to you. And God heard her prayer cry. The Bible says, He used to come to Silo every year. But in one of the, in one of the conference of Silo, Anna cried. Anna and heaven heard the cry. Heaven will hear your cry today. I say, heaven will hear your cry today. Heaven will hear your cry today. Somebody here, you are about to be delivered. Oh, I wish I could. Do I have a church today? Do I have people here who believe in God? Listen to me. God is going to change your story. If we can find men and women who are ready to, to stop blame shifting. You see that, that devil is making you to be focusing on people. You say, I'm not getting so and so this and this because of so and so. Stop pointing fingers at them. Cry unto Jehovah. Stop pointing fingers at people. Cry unto Jehovah. When Jehovah comes, the people who are opposing you, they will, they will begin to give to you. I say, when Jehovah comes, people that you think are problems to you, they will answer to your cry. I see God changing your story tonight. I'm, 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 I'm sensing a divine turn around. Hallelujah. 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 God is going to change your story. I said, God is going to change your story. God is going to change your story. The Bible says, Rahab was a, was a prostitute. Rahab was a prostitute. But when you look, when God begins to visit her life, from, you know, from Rahab, we see her, a prostitute, being married by a prince from Judah. Hallelujah. And from Rahab, you see people like Boaz. What Rahab was, was the, you know, you know, uh, uh, Boaz came through Rahab. Boaz I took Canaan and Rahab were married to Boaz gave birth to Jesse. Now, Boaz Akamza Jesse. Jesse, who was the father of David. Don't tell me about your history. I, I, I don't want to hear about the mistake you have made. If you can change today and look at Jehovah, God will change your story. I said, God will change your story. I know people know your mistakes here. But today, if you can cry unto Jehovah, God is changing your story. God is changing your story. That devil is a liar. Hallelujah. 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 Take up your feet. Somebody give God another hand of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Uh -uh. There, there is something here. Kuna kitu hapa. I must break this resistance. Lazima ni vunje hichi kisingiti hichi kikwazo. When, I, when, when you are supposed to say amen, you must say it. Because if you don't say amen, you don't agree. The God, the angels will not bless you. Don't look at people. When you say amen, you are saying, Father, let it be according to your weight. Somebody shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Shout amen. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. Shout amen. Amen. I want you to raise up your hands. Because God is about to do something.
and we are going to open our mouth tonight that the God of supernatural turn around that he visits you in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I was with one friend of mine in America he had just visited me. He was coming from Africa. In one of the African countries. Listen. While he was there. His, his visa days. Were expiring. He was forced to come back home. He had just lost a job from an oil company. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the man we went to prayer, he was not waking. He began to cry. That man will sleep on the floor. He will pray and cry unto the Lord. As he was, as he was crying unto God, the following day, he received a call from his former secretary. He said, Pastor Sami, I received your email in my office. The former secretary. This man lost his job. As he was crying unto the Lord, the man received American, you call it lottery, green card. Green card papers. While he was, while he was with, with me in America, that man would cry for three hours, four hours on the floor. Say, Lord, I have lost my job. I'm about to go back home. Lord, what do you want me to do? God, you better help me. Actually, what they did to him, that man, they, 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 they did wickedness on him. He, he came there. To he established a church. When the church was, was, you know, I helped him. You know, the church was coming okay. His headquarter, instead of giving him a visa to work as a pastor, they now brought another one to come and take from him so that he can go back to Africa. His own bishop threw hands, you know, you know betrayed him. The, 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 the one who was overlooking him in America. They were now plotting evil against him. They were plotting evil against him. But that man cried unto the Lord. I remember we were crying unto the Lord. We said, Lord, if, it is, if you don't intervene, how will you receive the glory? Men have failed. The man received a call. You know, you know uh, this uh, green lottery, green paper. The secretary said, I have your paper, American papers. The man said, let them be taken to my, you know, to my house. They gave it to his wife. She read them. Lottery, we are going to America. While people were thinking he's going down, he went back. He came to Africa. And he collected his family. All of them with his children. As I speak, he's in Chicago. He owns a big house. Listen to me. The God of supernatural turn around. He's going to change your life. I said, God is going to change your life. I know about this God. I know God hears me when I pray. I have seen God doing signs and wonders in my life. And God is going to do it today for somebody here. I want you to raise up your hands. I want you to focus on Jehovah. I want you to take your case and put it before God. I I want you to take your situation and put it before God. That devil is a liar. I said that devil is a liar. That devil is a liar. 
I said that devil is a liar. I don't care whether you believe him or not, but he's a liar. He's not going to stop you. As he's not going to stop you. 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 Are you ready for the blessing? Are you ready for the supernatural? If tonight you can prepare yourself. I say if tonight you can prepare yourself. Look unto Jehovah. Forgive people who think who, whom you think are disturbing you take your issue to Jehovah tonight I came to change your focus because by the end of tomorrow somebody's story is going to change here I said somebody's story is going to change here. Do you believe it? Let me hear you louder. Amen. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Up your hands. I want you to open your mouth and say, God of supernatural turnaround. Uh, interpreter is stuck. The God of supernatural turnaround. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Visit my life. Visit my life. Visit my life. Visit my life. Some of you tonight, there's going to be angelic visitation. God is going to visit you tonight. Angels will visit you tonight. You will see dreams to confirm breakthrough. Hey, I say tonight. God Almighty will touch somebody. God is touching somebody tonight. Shoko, how can you come and give us in a worship song? Just one worship song again. Because something supernatural, I'm sensing the miracles here. I'm sensing power here. God who... Out who solved the Haga problem is still the same today. There's going to be a supernatural turnaround. But if you are not ready to focus on God, if we cannot cry to God in this conference, we will come out of this place with no results. Are you ready? Can I get some few worshippers come and 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 up. Hallelujah. Just, just, just few of you. Let's get another mic. Raise up your hands. Listen. The power of God is moving in this place. Some, some, something big is about to hit your place. It's about to change your life. Tonight is a night of focus. We are focusing on God. We are saying, Jehovah, Jehovah, men cannot help us. Jehovah, Jehovah, we don't have relatives to help us. Lord, help me. Help me. That sickness is going to be healed tonight. That court case is going to be cancelled tonight. That business is going to leave. It's going to resurrect tonight. That marriage is going to, you know, to live again. Your husband is coming back to you. Your children are coming back to you. Your wife is coming back to you. you your salary is coming back to you. Your degree is coming back to you. Your divine helpers are coming to help you. Hey, focus on God. 
Close your eyes and focus on God. Hey, I want people who say, Bishop, I want you to pray with me. For I have impossible situations. Only God can help me. I want you to rush here. I want to pray for you. People who say, I have impossible situations. I need God to intervene in my life. I want people with impossible situations. For everything that is impossible, with God all things are possible. Roko doko 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 doko. Lebare kada 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 kada. Lebria kado 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 kado. Raka laba kada 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 kada. Leba kada kada lere kado kada ha. Reko doko deke lere kado kada. The power of God is coming on you. God is changing your situation. Hey! Hey! Yes, 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 yes. That situation is changing now. Oh, my God. Receive. Asha. Hey, <laughs> Receive, 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 receive. That situation is moving. Power. In the mighty name of Jesus. God is bringing you, is, is bringing a change. That is a wind of change blowing in your life. 
Every stubborn situation, every impossible situation, pray! Those of you that have your documents, if you have your documents, hold your documents high. If you have your documents, have your documents high. Roko Shakabaha. Hey, Shukabaha. Power Shukabaha. In the name of Jesus. Rako Lebekade. In the name of Jesus. I break that resistance. I release your breakthrough. I release your breakthrough. I release your breakthrough now. That's your pain. I release your breakthrough. That's your pain. I release your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Receive power. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. Receive breakthrough. He's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. He's changing it, he's changing it, he's changing it. 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 He's Oh, my God. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Thank you for this mighty ministration. Thank you, Lord, for touching our lives, for changing lives. Thank you, Lord, for the supernatural turnaround that has taken place in our lives. We worship you, Lord, in Jesus' name. If you are blessed, come on, put your hand together. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Okay. Let's keep quiet as Bishop and the team are ushered out. To a piggy macro for Catot Michel Hotel. Pastor John, please, could you come? Please come. You John, see, twins are children that were born on the same day. I said the twins are children that were born, babies that were born on the same day. Yes, from the same womb. Physically. But this is my spiritual twin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me Give him the chance now to, uh, to, to greet you. His name is John Shusho. Yes, Pastor. Please welcome. Thank you, Bishop. It's a great honor for me to be this evening. I think for what is going around here. I can see a tornado of spiritual thing na, happening around na here. Ona, uh, garika kubwa ya kiro. This is really turn around conference. I can see the power of God moving around here. What God requires you to do is just to believe. Just to believe. That's what God wants you to do. I really appreciate what is happening here. This is a good place to be. I really appreciate what God has put inside this man of God. He has really anointed him. He has a special anointing. May you shout for the anointing in the man of God this evening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Asante, asante, san. To go? Yes, I allow you now to go. Now, this is the husband of Christina Shusho. A mighty man of God. I tell you, you see, I love the grace of God upon your life. <laughs> he's so humble, he's so anointed, a powerful teacher of the word. Uh, he is something else. God bless you. Uh, yes, we are honored to have you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together as Pastor Shusho is walking out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have been working so hard. Please relax now. Now I'm about to see my man. Mabibi na mabwana. Kesho ndiyo kesho. Tunanzia saa tatu wa subuhi mpaka mchana. Hallelujah. Kesho ni bandika bandua kila muhubiri lazima atahubiri. Kesho na waibaji wetu wote wataimba. Kesho Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Tafadhali usikose tu, sio jioni tunanzia asubuhi ikifika saa 9 saa 10 tumemaliza tunaenda nyumbani tushakula tushashiba vya kiroho na vya kimwili vyote. Tuko pamoja watoto wa Mungu. Haleluya. Ngoke jirani yako mwambie nimefurahi kuwa na wewe hapa. Haleluya. 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 Akika wema nazo fadhi. Uata mimi Itaka nyumba ni mwabwana Siku zote za maisha yangu Imba haki 
Mungu mwema katika jina la Yesu. Watoto wako wamekuepo katika uwepo wako huu e Bwana. Hakuna yeyote aliyeingia katika uwepo wako akaondoka vile vile alivyokuwa. Asante kwa sababu maisha kila mmoja yamebadilishwa kiafya, maisha kila mmoja yamebadilishwa kimahusiano, maisha kila mmoja yamebadilishwa e mfalme wa amani katika eneo la kibali na kukubalika kwake na neema yako juu yake e Bwana imeongezeka. Katika jina la Yesu maisha yake mbadilika kifedha mfalme mwema. Asante mfalme wangu kwa maana kila mmoja umebadilisha maisha yake. Yaliyokuwa machungu umeweka utamu, yaliyokuwa magumu umefanya kuwa mepesi katika jina la Yesu. Baba ninaomba tunapoondoka mahali hapa baraka zako zikaanze kudhihirika katika ndoa zao, katika mapato yao, katika biashara zao, katika uchumi wao, katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mungu uwabariki watoto wako. Asante kwa sababu Mungu wa rehema nyingi kila mmoja ataona hakika ya kwamba ulikutana naye katika kongamano hili. Mfalme mama ninaomba wa malaika wako waendelee kufanya kituo kwao hata wanapoondoka masaha ya kwenda nyumbani. Bwana malaika wako wakawalinde na kuwaokoa na kila hila za yule mwovu. Asante Mungu kwa sababu umewabarikia na baraka zao zimeka, zako zimekaa juu yao ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kila mtoto wa Mungu aseme amen. Hallelujah. Hai mgeuke jirani mwambie jirani nimebarikiwa sana. Hallelujah. Mgeuke mwingine mwambie nimebarikiwa sana. Kama asikii Kiswahili mwambie kizungu mwambie neighbor I am so blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mtafute rafiki mmoja mwambie boy I'm so blessed. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Are you blessed? If you mean it shout hallelujah. Nenda na amani ya Bwana na Mungu akubariki sana. Messi mmetufurahisha sana. Sana sana sana. Jamani wapigieni Messi makofi mengi 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 mengi. You are so special. <laughs> 